What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you week 5, this is our 5th game in our Seattle Seahawks franchise, we're going up against the New York Giants, and a quick look at the injury report, we have no injured players so far, but the Giants have 4, so that's nice for us, and I have to tell you right now, uh, I completely forgot to put Sidney Rice back into the rotation for this game, because I took him out, because uh, I wanted to switch the way uh, the lineup went, I wanted... Uh, Braylon Edwards to be the third receiver, and the way that it was, it would have made him the second receiver. So I put Sidney Rice all the way to the bottom. So he didn't play a single minute this game, and I uh, kind of wish he did. But anyways, the Giants have the ball. They're giving it to Ahmad Bradshaw. He's going to pick up the first down. And then the Giants are going to go ahead and pass here. They're going to pick up a first down to Jake Ballard. And uh, they were rolling right off their first drive. I was a little worried. They were just storming down the field. They're going to hit Jacobs there on the screen, which I'm going to bring them down for a loss. And on third and 16, they're going to have to go for it long. And uh, they're not going to complete it. So they're going to have to settle for a field goal. And they're going to wind up making it, bringing them up with a 3 to nothing lead in the first quarter. Uh, so on my next drive on 3rd and 10, we're looking just to pick up a first down and we can't even get that because Tavares Jackson's accuracy is pretty bad. But I'm going to continue starting him uh, just because and the Giants are going to get the ball back, hit Victor Cruz there for a first down. 3rd and 6, we got to make a stop but we don't. They get Jake Bell there and they manage to pick up a first down. I don't know, that was questionable. But on 2nd down, they're going to go ahead and pass it again. And Hakeem Nix is just going to burn past the linebacker and catch it. I don't know what the linebacker was doing. I don't know why he was running that slow. Then they're going to hit it, hand it off to Mad Bradshaw again. Don't know how we didn't bring him down, but he's going to pick up the first down. And on first and gold, goal, Eli Manning's going to hit Hakeem Nix in the end zone, in the back of the end zone. The ref, for some reason, had to question whether it was in or not, and it was. And that's going to bring him up 10 nothing. So we're going to give it to Mike Williams here on a little bit of a trickery. Picking up six yards, and on third and four, we're going to give it to Leon Washington, who's going to break it off for a deep run. And that block in the back, I don't know if that's legal. I don't know if you saw what Baldwin did, but he pushed them in the back. I don't even know if that's legal, but it's fine because we picked up a touchdown. We cut the lead down to three. So now we're only down seven to ten. Clemens is going to get a sack there, and on third and 16, Eli Manning is going to get sacked again. And we're going to get the ball back. And I don't know how we got to this point. I think the punt just sucked. But Mike Williams is going to hail it in there. We're only 14 yards away from the end zone. And on third and eight, we're going to give it to Baldwin there. He's going to sneak into the end zone. And just like that, we're up 14 to 10. And now in the second quarter, handing off to Ahmad Bradshaw. He fumbles it, and Chris Snee is going to recover it. The very next play, they hand it off to Ahmad Bradshaw again. He's going to fumble it again, but this time Eli Manning picks it up. Uh, so from there on out, I was like, okay, every time a Mad Bradshaw has the ball, I'm going to try to strip it from him. I don't even know how that was a deflection. That was like the dumbest deflection ever because that was like a failed interception that just wound up like elbowing the ball down. Uh, but here on third and 10, we're going to give it to Leon Washington, who's going to try and get a first down, stopped short, and we're going to have to punt it away there. So the Giants have the ball again, and they're going to hit Hakeem Nix. I was going for the user pick or something and failed miserably. Hakeem Nix is going to have all this space, and thankfully Brandon Browner, I believe his first name's Brandon, is going to come away with a stop on like the four-yard line, and the Giants are not going to be able to punch it in, throw it in on third down. So they're going to have to settle for another field goal, cutting the lead down to one. So we're up 14-13. And then on the ensuing kickoff, Leon Washington's going to take it. Leon Washington's going to burn past everyone and take it into the end zone to bring us up 21-13. to And I guess this might be because Leon Washington has, like, there's roles players have. Sidney Rice has, like, this role where he gets injured all the time. Leon Washington has this role where it makes him better on the returns, and maybe that's what helped. But on the Giants' next play, their very next play, Earl Thomas is going to go ahead and take the ball out of the air and come up with an interception. He would get injured, but he would return to the game. Uh, so we're trying to make something out of that turnover. We get absolutely nothing, and we're going to have to wind up punting it. So the Giants are looking to score before the end of the half. They're going to hit Hakeem Nix there for the first down. And obviously this is a Super Bowl team, a Super Bowl talent team, because clearly the Giants are in the Super Bowl this year. Uh, so they're going to hit their tight end there, making their way down the field. So if we can come away with this win, it's going to be very nice. I know I probably should have said that at the very beginning of the video, but whatever. They're going to hit Victor Cruz there, the breakout star this year, getting inching closer to the end zone. 
Manning's going to hit the wide receiver Barden there. And only a couple yards shy from the end zone, Eli Manning's going to go ahead and hit Pasco right there for the touchdown. They don't go for the two-point conversion, so they're going to trail by one, 20-21. Marshawn Lynch is going to break it out to the side there on the handoff. And I know I said this last video, but you guys don't think I run the ball enough. It's just I don't show me running the ball because I don't show it unless it's a big gain. But you'll see the stats at the end. And uh, I'm kind of, uh, I'm considering bumping the minutes down because apparently, uh, yeah, you're going to see we failed the third down conversion there. We're going to kick a field goal, bringing us up by four points. But apparently on 12 minute quarters, uh, there's way too many plays because I know I, I just found out, like I just realized in my videos, there's way too many plays these games. Like I have, I can average like 40 carries with Marshawn Lynch and then have like 30 passes. And that's just way too much for one side of the ball. You know, see, I don't know where he got injured earlier, but Atari Big B is going to be out of the game. Uh, that's going to be kind of a hit. I mean, he's only our backup safety, but still, he plays a lot. Uh, so we're going to be without him for the rest of the game. Um, but like I was saying, I think at the end of this season, after the playoffs, um, whether we make the playoffs or not, I'm going to bump the minutes down to 10 for the second season, and I'll probably increase the difficulty a little bit because it doesn't seem too, too hard. Uh, the running game... I don't I don't know what I would need to bump. Um, it seems pretty balanced, but it's just it's too easy for me to score. I don't know. I need to take a look at what I need to change. Um, it's not the other side of the ball. Oh, look at this play right here. Braylon Edwards lateraling it to Baldwin. Take another look. If we would have gotten that block there, right there, by whoever that guy is, that might be Mike Williams, if he would have blocked that correct guy that would have been a touchdown that would have easily been a top play that's going to be a top five nominee i still need to get that done i still need to work on it um i need to review all my uh videos and try to pull out some clips i know i have a couple of them most of them are going to be madden clips because that's like the only real dynasty franchise association thing i have going on the syracuse one we don't really have that many highlights i don't think uh, but you're going to see earlier I threw that interception on the screenplay. I don't know why I threw that. Uh, I was like, okay, if he's, like, in my head, I'll be like, okay, if he's covered, I'm going to throw it away. But then as soon as I got pressured, I panicked, and I just threw it to him anyways, and I threw an interception. Um, but at this point in the game, we're up. There's only six minutes left, six, seven minutes left. I'm just trying to work the clock down a little bit. Marshawn Lynch is going to go ahead and break that run there. He's got 124 yards on the game. And Leon Washington, the one-two punch of Marshawn Lynch and Leon Washington was working really well. I think it said he had 65 or 85 yards there. I don't know why I was looking down. Four minutes left in the game. You know, we're going to make it closer. On third and goal at the two-minute warning, we're going to get stuffed. So we're going to settle with a field goal. With 157 left in the game, bringing us up by 7 points. All they need is a touchdown to tie the game. The Giants have 2 timeouts, so it's all good. 3rd down, they're not going to convert there. They didn't convert on any of those first 3 plays. And 4th down, they have to convert here because they don't have enough timeouts in order to uh, get the ball back. And Victor Cruz is going to just drop it there. We're going to deflect it. And I lied. They did have enough timeouts to get it back. Oh, and look at this. A holding call. I wonder who it could be. John Moffitt. Um... Yeah, he didn't have one last game, and he only had one this game. There's other people that were getting holding calls. I just didn't show it uh, just because I think it's funny when I show you guys John Moffitt. So we're going to kick the field goal here because we ran out of, uh, you know, we didn't convert. And they still have 34 seconds left on the clock, but they're down by 10, so that's going to be a problem. They have to score. They have to hit an onside kick, recover it, and score again. Uh, their first attempt, Browner, is going to deflect the ball down. Their second attempt, they're going to give to Ballard in the middle of the field. I don't understand why they would do that with only 25 seconds left in the game. Then they would spike it, and on 4th and 2, they have to make it. 12 seconds left in the game. Highly doubt they're going to even come back if they convert this. Uh, but they don't convert it, and I just wanted to put up more points, so I kicked the field goal. <laughs> I don't even care. So we go up 33-20, to 20, and there's still a second left on the clock. So we're just going to go ahead and squib it. And we would wind up winning the game 33-20 to 20 over the New York Giants, bringing us to a record of, I believe, 4-1. Um, and you're going to see here... Yeah, we won, and player of the game was, I think it was Earl Thomas. I don't know why he was player of the game. Uh, I know he had an interception right after that kick return by Leon Washington, but if anyone was player of the game, it should be Le Leon Washington because he had like 85 rushing yards and a kick return for a touchdown. I don't know 
I don't know why they chose Earl Thomas, but whatever. You're going to see the stats here. Um, we pretty much dominated them in everything. Um, and just take a quick look at the play count. There's 39 passes there. Um, I think the average is like 100-something plays. 39 passes, 17 rushes. So that's like 56 plays right there. Um, and then ours, we have 18 passes. And I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like doing the math right now, especially since the video is coming to an end. Uh, maybe it's fine. Maybe I need to bump it down to maybe just 11 minutes or 10. But that'll be next season. But that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next time.